Okay, here's the notes. We're looking at the unit circle. This you're going to love. This is going to be the, easy, the easiest day here, the assignment. Use, looking at this graphic organized of the unit circle. It has angles here. Right, you see a circle, by the way. You see a circle. It has angles. It has your 30 degrees, your 60 degrees, your 90s. And it has the 45s in the middle, right? It also has the 45 degree angles. For these 30, 60, 90 and the 45, 45, 90 triangles, uh, it's all here. All the answers are here. Okay, if you know how to read it, psh, you'll get the answer in a second. Okay? Um, so everybody see the angles, right? Zero degrees. You go all the way around and back to 360. Okay, that. And then what do you also see right here? What's this? Those are the radians. Remember we learned how to convert degrees to radians? Guess what you're going to get when you convert 30 degrees into radians? What's the answer? Pi over 6. You see the answers are there. Guess what you're going to get if you convert 5 pi over 6 and I ask you to convert that into degrees? Guess what 5 pi over 6 in degrees is everybody? 150. You guys see it's right there? So you guys see degrees. You guys see the degrees here? Yeah? That's your degrees all the way to 360. And their equivalent radian measures, right? The equivalent radian measures are, are right there, right? Okay. Now, then you got these, you see these parentheses right here? These parentheses are coordinates. See these right here? They're a coordinate, like an XY coordinate, like this one right here. There's an, this like your X, it has an X and a Y, but it doesn't say X and Y, there's already numbers there. You guys see it? It's kind of a little tough to see. This is not a good copy, but the one, on, the one that you'll see in Schoology is a, is a nicer uh, copy. It says one half comma and then root three over two. Here's your answers. Here are the answers. All right, so I'm going to break it down to you really easy. These coordinates are your exact values. But they're only the exact values for sine, only for sine and cosine. Only for sine and cosine. Guess which one of these is sine? Let's look at 30 degrees. Guess which one of these is sine and guess which one of these is cosine. You got to you got to know which one's which. Anybody know which one is sine and which one's cosine? Well, you're like, well, no, I don't know. Oh, go ahead. I'll say which one. Sine is one half. And so you're saying this one's sine and then this one's cosine? Well, you're right. Good guess. <laughs> Good guess. It is. It is. Oh, you don't believe me? Let's see. Everybody go ahead and put... Sine of 30 degrees. Well, I'm just going to do it real quick here, right? Clear. What is sine of 30 degrees? What, is the, what does this unit circle say that sine of 30 degrees is, everybody? One half? There it is. Isn't this one sine? This one is sine. And this one is what? Cosine. Now, yes, it, do, it does just show you sine and cosine. It does show you sine and cosine. It doesn't show you tangent, right? There, we would need another one. I'm going to have to show you on the next assignment how to get tangent. There's a totally new way how to get tangent. But what I want to focus on is I, wanna tell, I want you to tell me how you're going to remember that this one's cosine and this one's sine. How are you going to remember that? How about Monday you're going to tell me, oh, this one's sine and this one's cosine. I want you to know a way to remember which one's that the first one is cosine and the second one is sine. Anybody can remember a neat way to remember that? Well, the answer is right here. How do you know when you look at numbers like this, which one's the x and which one's the y? How do you remember that? How do you know that? Because it's called an ordered pair. Pair because it's two of them. What is the ordered part called? Why is it called ordered? 
because it's in alphabetical order. It's in alphabetical order. What comes first in the alphabet? The X or the Y? Right, let's see, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You see, X is first and then Y, yes? So I'm telling you over here, for you to remember which one comes first, cosine starts with a C and sine starts with an S. Which one is first in the alphabet? The C. And then which one's second? The S. So guess what? Guess what? This one is what? Cosine or sine, this first one? This one's cosine, this one's what? Sine. That's true for all of them. For all of them. So let's go over here to 210 degrees, everybody. What is sine? I'm sorry. Yeah, let's do sine of 210 degrees and cosine. Give me the answers. They're right there. Give me the exact values because they're right there. Here's 210 degrees right here. What is sine of 210? Give me the answer. Remember, this one's cosine and this one's sine, right? I know we like to say sine and then cosine because, I don't know, it just, it just sounds better. But remember, cosine is first. Everybody agrees sine of 210. Here's 210. Sine of 210 is what? Negative 1 half. Well, let me check my handy dandy calculator. You said sine of 210 is what? What is it? Boom. There it is. And what is cos? Oh, yeah, that's, that's sine. And what is cosine of 210? Negative root 3 over 2. Because it's right there, right? I told you the answers are all here. And we can check that. I know it's negative. What is root 3 over 2? Let's see. The square root of 3, the answer divided by 2. That means that when I put cosine of 210, it better give me this negative 0.866, right? Check this out. I'm going to put cosine of 210. Remember that 0.8660254. Remember that. I'm going to put cosine of 210 in the calculator. Watch this. And remember, it has a negative, right? So cosine 210. Is it? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. All right. You're looking at the unit circle. Can somebody tell me what is sine and cosine of 90 degrees? What is sine of 90 degrees and what is cosine of 90 degrees? How about that? Which one is, which one's which? Because there's two answers here. This one is what? Cosine and this one is sine, remember? So what is sine of 90? One. one. I don't believe it. Let's see, calculator time. Sine of 90? One. Is it? Yes, Cerritos. And cosine of 90 is going to give me zero. Let's check, let's check, let's check. Cosine of 90. Is it working or what? It's all there. The answers are right there. Okay, let me tell you what's not here. I already told you one other thing that's not here. What's not here? Tangent. We're going to learn tangent on the, the next assignment. What is also not here? Well, let me ask you this one. Here's a good one. What would you tell me, let's get sine of negative 240 degrees and cosine of negative 240 degrees. How would you do that using the unit circle? How would you, what's not here? What's not here? The negative angles are not here. Do you guys see that? You only see what? You only see the? Positive angles, positive angles are drawn clockwise, and we actually also only see up to 360. If I give you like, what's, uh, what's sine of 540, well, you're going to have to know where, what's an equivalent coterminal to, to 540, right? We can do that right now. But I asked you about the, neg see, negative angles aren't here, so if I tell you negative 240, are you going to go here? Are you going to go here? No. Where is negative 240? What is the positive coterminal angle to a negative 240? What is it? 135? No, it's not 135. Yeah, well, if I graph and I go this when I go negative 240, I mean, you're not going to see it here. What? It's 120 degrees, right? Remember, if I go negative, I start here. 
And then what's this much? Negative one, oh yeah. Isn't that negative 180? And then remember, these, these here, these first ones are going by 30. That's 30 and 60. The middle ones are going by 45. How much more do I need to get to uh, 240? I need 60, right? So not that first slice. You got to go all the way to here. So does everybody agree negative 240 and 120 are the same terminal side? Yeah. So guess what? What is, you can tell me now, what is sine and what is cosine of negative 240? Right? You can see it there? What would you tell me that sine is of negative 240? This one's, remember this one's cosine, this one's sine. Don't forget, C is first and then S is second. Cosine is first and sine is second. And what is cosine of negative 240? Uh, let me check that. You said cosine of 240. Ah, sorry, cosine of negative 240 is negative 1 half. Oh, let me check that. Cosine of a negative 240. What is it going to be? Boom. You guys see it? It's right there. All right. So right now, you're going to be able to find all sines and all cosines, right? All sine ratios, exact values, and cosine ratios. But guess what? There's a couple of, this opens the door for something else. What if I ask you for this? What if I ask you for, let me jump down over here. What if I ask you for cosecant of 330 degrees? Are you able to find, if you know sine and cosine, if you know the ratios for sine and cosine, can't you also get what? Cosecant and secant, right? Yeah, of course. So if I ask you for cosecant of 330, here's 330, you guys. Here's 330. And I know, bless you, this is cosine and this is sine. What's the answer for cosecant? Right? Well, which one is which one's the reciprocal function of cosecant? Sine. So if sine is negative one half, what's the answer for cosecant, everybody? Isn't it going to be negative two over one, which is just negative two? Yeah. You guys know what I'm saying right there? Because we know, we know. Remember, sine, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. And the reciprocal of cosine is what? Secant, right? We learned that. If you know this fraction or this ratio, what do we do to this to get this other function? You just flip it over, right? You do the, you, the reciprocal. I know you guys like to say flip. Is, is that good? We got it? All right. So that is it. Let's see. Let's see. Now you should be able to go fast, right? Let's see. Give me answers right away fast. What is... Sine of 300. Too slow. <laughs> sine of 300, negative root 3 over 2. What is cosine of 60 degrees? What is cosine of 60 degrees? One Boom. Done. Correct. That's it. That's how you look at it. That's how you read it. But remember, it only tells you sine and cosine. And then from that, indirectly, you can get the secant and the cosecant. On the next assignment, we'll do tangent and then and finish that off. All right, we're good. We got it. You know how to look at this. You know how to read it. Pretty easy there. The angle measures are there. The radian measures are there. And actually, all the exact values for sine and cosine are there. All right, there you go. This is the unit circle.